Okay, I have a lot of favorites playing Blue Archive. This game made me realize that, you know what? They're underage, and I'm 17 right now, so no jackass can cancel me. Fuck you! Chihiro was nice to know, a very skilled hacker, but only for a good cause. And her interactions <laughs> with Sensei are pretty sweet. Azusa is adorable, while she's also scary. And I am into that. But Kayako just caught my eye when I saw her. Every time I look at Kayako artwork on Twitter or Pixif, I just thought, Shin, I wish you were real. Why is life so sad without you? What I'm trying to say is, I love Kayoko. Kayoko is my favorite character, and I just love everything about her. I I'm not done yet. She grew on me when I started reading into her story. I like how she did with her hair. A mix of black and white, and the horns are pretty nice. Then I got to the New Year variant, and I just ascend. This girl has done nothing but bring me happiness, and the more I think about her, the more I just want to marry her. Of course, I have a lot to say why, though it's pretty obvious since... Well... That doesn't matter, I'm gonna make my own version either way. Kayako is of course a cat lover. She cares for them, feeds them, and she cherishes the little critters. Just look at them. Adorable little devils. Whenever she sees a cat, she just can't help but pet it. I mean, I love cats too. Just look at me, I'm feeding 30 cats in this damn house. There's one cat with 7 children of her own. Some of them got their male privileges taken because they desire it, they like it, Sess. She loves everything about cats. And I feel the same too. She probably goes to a ton of cat cafes often. And I totally go out for her. The scary at the outside, but it's actually a sweetheart in the inside trope. It's my favorite trope. A lot of the NPCs thought of her as a really scary person, since she is part of Problem Solver 68 group, and I'll admit, she does catch off that vibe. The hoodie with the born to kill text on it, the cold look at first glance that could likely mean you're dead in two seconds. There was even one time where an NPC thought she was a hire of from some underground organization and picked out the expensive looking kimonos. Then I went into her story more, got her L2D, and told myself, God, you're so sweet. She cares for the problem solvers, and she would usually clean up the office before they arrive. She also doesn't mind company. Okay, for real, Yukio did an amazing job with her voice. Her voice is a gift from the heavens. I love voices that could just put me to sleep. <sighs> I could just imagine myself waking up in the morning and then there's this right in my ear. It's just so calming, so mature, and it's just so nice to hear every day. Speaking of soothing voices, <laughs> when is ASMR? I do like that she can get flustered at times. I'm pretty sure she doesn't get called cute often, and I think it's cute. Whenever we call her cute, she plays it off and thinks we're joking. God, that's so cute. I want to see more of her expressions. Um, not in the whoa way, more of a wholesome kind, I, I swear. She likes music, and I like music. I mean, I play D4DJ often and listen to Millie's music once in a while. They make good songs. And her favorite genre is heavy metal, which isn't really uncommon, and I listen to metal sometimes. It's not just metal she likes, she likes a lot of kinds. Like jazz, for example. Kayako could pull off any kind of outfit, and I would date her in an instant. Swimsuit? Hell yeah. Casual Kayako? God. Kimono? Kayako in kimono was a glorious sight. The change from a ponytail to just letting her hair flow just gets me in awe. Mostly black suits her too. Even the flower on her hair was a nice touch. And her New Year LTD shows his beauty. Very beautiful. So adorable. She's not a fox terrorist, a future bank robber, a very sleepy OG son, a maybe racist gamer, a clumsy police officer, or a 100 kilogram calculator who also cares for you like a wife. She's just Kayoko. Someone who you can chill and relax with while talking about random topics and such. Someone you can vibe with. That's pretty good. And that's all I had to say of why I really love Kayoko. Chill and really cute girl. I got nothing more to say, I hope me blabbering about how much I love Kayoko entertain you a bit. I'm sure many people feel the same thing about Kayoko. If you like her, nice. I love Kayoko, and I will continue to love her no matter what. She's also good for some- Hi, hello, I'm not reading a script this time, so it's just me talking about stuff. Yeah, that's, that's what most gonna do. Honestly, this was a bit more tiring than I thought editing this video and my PC could not keep up with all the clips and stuff I've been adding. So, uh, yeah, I've just been working on this for the past few days. Um, yeah. Honestly, I could have posted this by the time Inoue's favorite Blue Archive character thing, and I was 
definitely pretty late posting this, but you know what? I just thought, you know what? I'm feeling schizo today. So why not just talk about Kayoko for just a few minutes? And uh, here we are. Yeah, I just felt like talking about Kayoko just for a few minutes. You know, because she's nice. Yeah. So uh, that's all I have to say. Um, bye.